I am incredibly excited to do this little tutorial first impression for you guys today. I recently picked up several, uh, actually several different orders from Glamlight because they released a couple things all at the same time. So we did the unboxing of the Mexico foodie box. I really like everything we got with that. In fact, today I'm actually going to use the Agua Fresca lip gloss on top of the pink lips that I have going on right now. Oh man, when I clapped to start the video, something flew right into my eye and it really is just like, <laughs> I'm here and I live here now and it's, oh, it's not, it's not comfortable. Let me tell you guys. Anyway, not the point. I will suffer through. I will, I will muscle through that slight eye, possible eye infection now. Oh wow, it's really deep in there. I'm gonna name my, I'm gonna name the dust that's in my eye. His name is Herbert. Okay, anyway, Herbert's there, we're, we're moving on. So we're gonna use the Agua Fresca lip gloss today in conjunction with what the, the primary topic of this video is, which is the new Glam Light Glam Donut Palette. This little guy dropped I think he dropped on the 17th, which was this past Monday as we're filming it. I don't know how this will post, so it might've been a little while ago, but hopefully it'll be up pretty soon. But I actually pre-ordered it in July when they released it, like the day they released it. And it comes in the cute little donut box. You get the little nice little box. And then this is what he looks like out of the box, nice and, and puffy, like a little donut. And then inside you get, uh, I think it is eight eyeshadow colors, if I can count. It's either eight or nine. It's I'm struggling really hardcore, but it's it's a number. You get a nut. Let me take this off first. This is going well so far. I haven't slept yet. I got home from work and it's like, I went into work at like 10 o'clock. I got home from work. It's now like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm very tired. It's great. We're great. All right, anyway, so you get, I think it's it, nine. You get nine eyeshadow, nine, one, Ooh, did he? No, I'm not gonna do it all the way up there, but it was an ode to the count from Sesame Street. That's what that was. <laughs> I, I don't need your judgment. I've got Herbert living in my eye and you sitting there judging me and I just don't need it anyway. So yeah, so we got nine eyeshadow colors and then we got a really pretty highlighter in the center. We're gonna use the highlighter and I'm thinking we're gonna do, trying to decide if I wanna do pink and blue, if I wanna do pink and purple. I. I really like the blue, so I haven't decided yet. But I did make like my blush and my lipstick a little bit pinker than I normally go with today because I know that I wanna use those pinks because of the pink donut. Um, fun story, where was I in the middle of the night at work? I work at Dunkin' Donuts, so I had to get this palette. This was like something that I saw it and I was like, well, I have to do it. I'm a donut baker, so why why would I not get it? So yeah, I'm really excited about it though. I love Glam Light. I love their formula. I love their packaging. I just love them as a company. They're great and everything they stand for is great. So yes. All right, let's start with the lip gloss. While I'm applying my lip gloss, uh, if you guys have not subscribed to our channel yet, I'm an absolute mess, but I have fun and uh, hopefully you guys have fun watching me, so you should subscribe. That's it, that's done, that's it. That's all there was to that pitch. Gorgeous, this lip color is gorgeous. In fact, the lip color that I used as a base was really like magenta pink. And so I actually like muted it with a chapstick and then I kind of dabbed some of that off and it still was pinker than I liked. But this really did a nice job. Yes, perfect, yep, beautiful. I wish that I wish the world could have seen that, but alas, you sit behind the camera, so now they'll never know. Anyway, oh, Herbert, oh, I blinked and I, he, he was like, I'm still here. That guy left. No, I'm here forever, bitch. So I really like the, the way that this has kind of gone in and really done a nice job of like leveling out the color because I really wasn't loving it at first. That's what I love about makeup. Like when you finish everything, it all comes together. Most of the time it looks pretty good. And then you're like, all right. Cause there was a moment there where I wasn't quite sure. Like with the blush without any sort of eye makeup is like very harsh right now and I'm not loving it. But I think I think we can right the ship if that, if that makes sense. I am gonna go ahead and finish my face stuff right now. I'm gonna do the highlighter cause I'm really interested to see how this highlighter plays. Um, we did get the Concha highlighter in their foodie box and I haven't actually tried a highlighter from Glamlight. I'm not sure if they actually have released many up until this point. So I'm very excited. I like, I like this. <laughs> this really is giving me like donut glaze vibes. Like that's just what it looks like. It looks like donut glaze and I'm a baker of donuts. So I can say that with confidence. Baking, baker approved. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's um, definitely more of like a chunky highlighter, but I, I did a review of the Milani ones. What were the, what was that 
called? It was like intergalactic or some something like that. But it, anyway, I, they, I bought three of them. I got them on sale. I did them in a couple different videos. Those were also what I would call chunky highlighters. Like they had like that really chunky kind of texture to it when you finish to it instead of like the nice kind of holographic finish. And this definitely has chunky areas, but it still is very smooth and it's not really patchy. Like where the glitter applies and where it sets is pretty evenly spread out. And the biggest issue I had with those was that they did not spread as evenly. So I really like this one a lot. And like I said, it really does kind of give me that like glazed donut feel to it. So I'm in, I'm into it. And it's actually the, the name of the color is glazed, glazed and confused, which is me 100% of the time. I really need you to stop looking at me because you're being an ah. asshole with your face. <laughs> I just need you to stop. I just need you. You may have to leave. You have to leave and set a timer and come back every 10 minutes to restart the camera. <laughs> Our cameras, it turns off every 10 minutes. It's it's nice, but it's not that nice like, like me. I'm just gonna keep throwing thumbs up and hopefully at some point it'll fix my life. I, as, as I've been rambling and just letting this video fall into chaos so quickly, I will say Glam Light always has a lot of fallout in their palette. So there's like glitter everywhere currently. It do be like that though. So, I mean, I, I you know, glitter's not the worst thing that could be everywhere, but whatever. I don't know what is, what is the worst thing. Tell me in the comments, what's the worst thing that could be everywhere? Let's see how interesting we could make this. <laughs> Nikki's like, please stop talking. <laughs> Nikki's face right now. I think Nikki's gonna have to leave. Or otherwise this video's not gonna get finished. Oh, my eyes watering. Maybe Herbert's gonna come out. He said, no, I'm still in it. No, bitch, I'm here. I don't, I don't know what I wanna do. Okay, blue or pink, blue or, I mean, blue or purple. Blue, pink, or purple, pink. What should I do? Blue and pink or purple and pink? What should I do? Yeah, but look at my shirt. I, you guys, I don't know if you can see my shirt, but my shirt's, look at that. Can you see my shirt? It's like galaxy, so blue would make sense. Maybe I just do blue. Oh my God. No, I have to use a pink. I need my whole base pink. Go ahead and stop this while I figure this out. So what did you guys miss when we turned the camera off? Well, I went ahead and made the executive decision between me, myself, and I to do blue and pink. That was my original plan. We're gonna stick with the original plan. If it looks crazy, then it looks crazy. I don't care. You also missed me telling Nikki that he's the reason this is currently happening because he told me he wanted me to film while I was exhausted because I'm more entertaining that way. So you're welcome. This is this is his fault. You can write his you can write him letters. I'll give you his personal email address. You can all send him personal emails thanking him for what's happening right now. All right, let's start. Let's start this. Let's start this. Let's let's go. Let's go for it. Let's just do it. let's let's like. Rudy Toot, let's do this shit. I'm actually gonna go in with blue. I was thinking I was gonna start with a pink. We're gonna go in with blue. I don't know why, because it's just what's, I just, chaos. All right, this shade is icing. <laughs> E-Y-E slash sing, like icing. It's all oh, the puns. I love it. I love it. Also, um, right now with my really pink blush and the blue eyeshadow, I, and the gla, it, and the lip gloss, oh my God, I am straight. I just need bigger hair and I'm straight out of like a horrible 80s sitcom. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I love how, like when we're like talking about filming, I'm always like, hey, if I ask you questions, like answer, it's so much easier to talk to you than a camera. And he just is like, <laughs> literally this is the face he makes it. He just sits there like, <laughs> I'm like, answer me. He's like, <laughs> I feel like I'm not inside my body right now. That's a great question. Probably Herbert. I'm, all, I'm actually just one big dust. All we are is dust in the wind. All right, I like this. I like the shade. It's very, I mean, the whole, the nice thing about this palette is there's a lot of like kind of pastel-y shades that are matte. And then you get these really gorgeous glitter shades as well. So I'm excited about this. I really like the, like what's happening with this. This is very much like a, nice little kind of baby blue, but still has that like electric pop to it. And it applied really smoothly. I'm not seeing a lot of, well, there's a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna say, I'm not seeing a lot of fallout. Well, there's a, there's a little bit, I see them on there. Yes, so we did that, go team. Hallelujah. High five. All right, Um. now, now what am I gonna do? Now I'm gonna go in with pink, cause we said we were gonna do blue and pink, so why wouldn't I go in with pink, <laughs> obviously. 
I don't know what's happening. I apologize to everybody watching right now. If you're still with us, God bless you. You deserve a medal and you are probably a saint of some point, uh, of some sort, of some point. <laughs> saint of... <laughs> All right, I'm going with pink. The pink shade name is Jelly. Jelly. <laughs> I need you to stop responding to the things I said. I thought I wanted you to respond, but you, all you're doing is laughing. It's just, my eyes are watering so much. <laughs> I don't know if any of this footage is usable, if I'm being 100% honest, and I don't think you do either. Here we go, doing makeup, yes, yes. That application did not help with the 80s thing. It's getting more 80s by the second. I love it, it's great. I really like what's, I really like what's happening actually with this, like uh, quite a bit, because where I've, where I've gone in, with the pink over the blue, it has made this gorgeous purple shade. It's, I just love it. I love how well they're mixing together. I love how easily it is applying. And I say that like I'm surprised. I'm really not, like I said, I really truly, everything I've tried from Glamlight, their foodie palettes, their, I mean, their food-based palettes, their, um, they have a couple just kind of standard palettes that are, you know, just normal, not like super crazy packaging or anything cool like that. And I just have been very, very excited with everything that I've tried from them. And their formula is really, truly very, very easily to, to work. Very easily workable and blends well, blends out really well. I will say there's a couple videos where Nikki has like gone in and he's been able to see the fallout. I never really see it on my face, but you definitely can see it sometimes on camera. So right now I can see there's a little bit of fallout on the palette. It definitely is possible that there's some on my face as well, but I really, I'm just, I'm very satisfied with what is, what's, what we're, with the, the, energy we're creating in the studio today. Isn't that what they say on the TikToks? Okay, what did you miss off uh, camera? Nikki told me that I am not a person, I'm a character. I don't know what that means, but it, here we are. It's probably has something to do with the fact that I said, I don't know if I'm actually in my body or not. So yeah, I, I, okay. And then with the eye look, with the, you know, with the makeup part of this, I went ahead and I, I kind of cleaned up. I didn't have to do a lot actually. I, it's relatively even probably because I'm just not obsessing over it like I normally do because I'm so exhausted, I've disassociated from life. I feel like if I just stop sleeping, maybe all my problems will get better, but I don't know. But I went ahead and I did pink on my on the underside of my, um, my eyeballs. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> Nick, Nick you're, you're ruining my video, Nikki. I'm gonna make you start like wearing a sheet. You're just like sit there under a sheet. You like look like a ghost going like, Ooh. so yeah, pink on the underside of my eyeballs. That happened. And then, um, I don't know. My eyes are watering so much. It's wild. It's that's what, that's what we did. That's what, that's where we are. I hate you so much. I'm just, you gotta leave, bruh. You gotta leave. I can't do this. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. No, you're not. This is disgust. If you can't tell what that emotion is, it's disgust. I'm disgusted by the fact that you ruined my video. So what are we gonna do now that I've gained some sense of some some sense of composure? Not not that much, but a little bit. So I'm gonna just take um, my normal standard blending brush. I don't have like a color on it. I just want to kind of blend a little bit of the pink up into my brow and kind of blend 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 and blah 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 blah. Blend this little uh, area out as well. So it just looks a little bit more natural. I want it to look natural. That's what I was going for today. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a semi cut crease like I normally do, or I just conceal basically this area and I put the glitter shade on, or if I want to just do the glitter shade over this, I'm thinking actually this might be a good look to just go ahead and do the glitter shade directly over the blue since the blues match so well. Um, the one I want to go in with is sprinkles which is this pretty blue shade right here. And so far, I mean, we've only used, it actually looks like there's at least three colors on my eyes because of where the purple has been created between the blue and the pink. But we've only used so far um, jelly and icing. And I really like what, I just feel like they've done such a great job of like blending together and making a, a really cohesive, bold eye look. I like it. I'm sure some people say I look like a clown, but I don't give up at all. What's your face saying right now, huh? I have to censor that. Okay. Make a really long crack sound. All right, going in with the glitter shade. If this doesn't work, then we'll go in and conceal it in. But I, I have hope, I have hope. Not a lot, but some. 
it is i think it would be definitely better over the concealer rather than trying to do this because it's like really i'm really having to like dig my brush in there to get some stuff up but it do be like that sometimes so that's the motto of today's video that's the word of the day it's a lot of words and it's it do be like that sometimes that's what the that's what yep i hope that's what you all take away from this video it do be like that I will say the one bad thing about the fact that these blend so well is like I just hit it like a little bit with the pink in the wrong area and it was like now nah, now nah, that that spot's purple now. It wasn't supposed to be purple. But why though? So there is a little bit of fallout kind of uh, not bad, but a little bit. A little bad. I do think I want to actually take I want to take this really nice um kind of like a mint shade and it's called frosty. We're gonna take just a touch of that and I'm gonna do it just kind of right here where I don't have the pink. And I want, if it looks awful, then you know, whatever. It do be like that. I really like that shade. See, this is the issue is I've, I've only used like three shades really in this palette, just three of them. And then frosty like just here. And I, re I really wanna do a look with, maybe I'll do another one. Probably not anytime recently because there's, the, recently in the near future is what I meant to say, but my brain is not really properly communicating to my, my mouth right now. So it's just whatever is coming out is coming out. I don't even know what to say about it. I definitely think this is a palette that I would want to revisit sometime. Uh, probably not in the near future is what I was attempting to say. Definitely one that I'm gonna need to pull out and do on camera some more with because I think there's a lot you can do with it. And it's kind of exciting to see that. I really like what's happened here. I mean, it's definitely bold, it's definitely colorful, and it's definitely a palette that you're going to buy if you want bold and colorful. Nobody's gonna buy this and be like, oh, this is for daily use. This is just, well, unless you're me, because I, I will wear this anytime, I don't give a crap. But this is one that is probably, it's probably somebody who's either likes using a lot of colors or who is looking for a nice little bold statement piece to add to their makeup collection. Um, I will say in this haul as well, I also picked up the birthday cake palette, which I've been wanting to get my hands on for for a hot minute and I just hadn't picked up yet. And so I was like, well, what the heck, I'm gonna do it now. And I'm really excited to try that one because that one is um, on a much bigger scale, the same type of vibe, very bright, colorful, bold. I love it. I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna do it off camera because I've wasted enough of your guys' lives being just an absolute mess today. Okay, so I left to take my ears off and fix my hair, which is what I normally do. And I always look at the mirror from a distance, not in the harsh light, and I decide if I like it or not. I liked everything except for the mint on the inner corner. I, for whatever reason, it made me look tired. And I think that's probably because the way my mom taught me how to do makeup was like never to like close off your eye. It just makes you look She's like, it just ma it just makes you look not as good. And I don't know how to explain that. I, I like it on some people. I hate it on my own eyes. So because of that, because of all those, I actually went and put a little concealer over it, took it off more or less. And I like it a lot better without that. So made a choice because I wanted to use that color. It was not the right choice in my opinion. So I went and fixed it. Other than that, I'm a pretty big fan of the, the eye look and how it turned out. Um, it definitely, like I said, it's definitely gonna be a bold look. Like this is not a palette you're gonna buy to like blend in. <laughs> I personally don't really care about blending in. So I was like, all right, let's do this. So yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I, um, I'm a big fan of it. I really like this palette. I, very cute. $22, I think is a really nice little, um, it's a little price, a nice little, it's a nice palette for the price because a lot of their bigger palettes um, are a little bit more expensive, still not unreasonable. The cake one I think that I picked up was like $40 and it comes with a significant amount more colors, but this this is a pretty good little deal, especially if you're looking to try them out for the very first time. I do highly recommend them. I really like them. And I also really like um, supporting indie businesses that are not as mainstream as some of the other ones. Plus their packaging is just top notch. So yeah, so this is the Glam Light Donut Palette Review Part One. Cause like I said, I think we'll probably at some point revisit this palette so I can use some of the purples and use that mint in a more effective way. Um, but yeah, sorry that this was a chaotic video. Hopefully you found it entertaining. I am a chaotic person. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you stayed this long, good for you. You're a freaking wizard. I don't know how you managed to do that, but I love you for it. Uh, if you're not part of the Dark Angel family, consider subscribing. And other than that, as always, I hope you guys are safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist. Running down the gutter with the piece of butter butter.